Welcome in, along with Sam Monson, I'm Steve Palazzolo, bringing you your Buffalo Bills and New York Jets game preview for Week 10. It's all powered by PFF Elite. Sam, Josh McCown's getting the star for the Jets after tying for 25th in PFF grades last season at 67.9. He was one of the most efficient deep passers in the league, finishing third with an adjusted completion percentage of 46.7% when throwing down the field. He may actually be able to help the offensive line as his 2.41 seconds in the pocket was eighth fastest in the league last year. And Sam Darnold's been on the other end of that this season, checking in at 2.68. That's sixth longest. So McCown, quick passing game, downfield attack. That's the key to watch for the Jets passing game this Sunday. Yeah, these are two pretty ugly offenses going head to head. But if there's a ray of light for the Jets, it's been the emergence of Chris Herndon, rookie fourth round tight end out of Miami. Herndon has the fourth best yards per route run figure among all tight ends from the slot this year. They've been lining him up as a receiving weapon, and he's trailing guys like Travis Kelsey, legitimate receiving weapons in the NFL. As for the Bills offense, the quarterback situation has not been great. Perhaps Matt Barkley can add a ray of light to the Bills quarterback situation. He has 266 attempts in his career. It's not a lot, but his best grade was a 73.5 in 2016 with the Chicago Bears where he had his ups and downs, but at least showed a little bit of hope and could add a bit of a spark to the Bills' offense. Yeah, the quarterback situation in Buffalo has been ugly, but it hasn't all been on those passers because the Bills' wide receivers are also extremely poor. So far this year, they are last in receiving yards. They're last in touchdowns. They're last in passer rating when targeted. They're last in yards after the catch, and they have the most interceptions thrown their way when targeted as a unit. Plus, the offensive line has been a problem as well. It's currently PFF's 24th overall rated line. It's been a problem. All right, let's get to some of the good stuff. The Bills' defense has kept them in games, and they're a bit underrated because of how the offense has played. Jerry Hughes is number two in the NFL among all edge defenders with 44 total pressures. And when you pair him with Lorenzo Alexander on the other side, they're first and third in pressure rate among all edge defenders. And then in the secondary, second-year cornerback Tredavious White has continued to emerge as one of the league's best. He's number one or two in a number of key PFF metrics, whether it's coverage snaps per reception, coverage snaps per target, and then yards per coverage snap. Simply put, he's rarely targeted, he's difficult to complete a pass against, and when you do it, it simply does not go for too many yards. The Bills' defense has been making life difficult on opposing passing offenses. Yeah, and the bright spots for the Jets are also on defense. Maybe the brightest of all is safety Jamal Adams, who's become one of the best safeties in the game, and he has been hitting offensive receivers like it's 1995, Steve. He leads all safeties with 17 stops in the run game, and he's currently the number four rated safety at PFF in the AFC with an overall grade of 80.2. So there you have it, it's your Jets Bills preview for week 10, and it's all been powered by PFF's play-by-play -play grading, all a part of PFF Elite.